Let's do another example real quickly. Example number two, we will let A equal seven radical six, two, and you see real numbers. They don't have to be integers. They can be any number at all. It could be pi, it could be e, it could be anything. And we'll let the vector b equal two, two, zero, two, two, zero. Uh, let's do a minus b. The vector a minus b, well, that's equal to the vector a plus the vector minus b. Because you know that there is no such thing as subtraction in, in, in mathematics, as it turns out. Uh, there's only one operation in mathematics, that's addition. A subtraction is addition of the inverse of a number. Multiplication is actually just multiple additions, as it turns out. And division is just the inverse of multiplication, which is ultimately based on addition. So there's really only one operation, ar arithmetic operation in mathematics. It's addition. Everything else is derived from it. So when we talk about some number minus another number, we're talking about something plus the inverse. In this case, a vector plus the negative of the other vector. OK, well, a plus minus b, that's equal to 7 plus a minus 2, which is 7 minus 2. That's equal to 5. Radical 6 plus a minus 2. We just write radical 6 minus 2. It's a perfectly valid number. We can leave it like that. And 2 minus 0 is 2. So that's it. a minus b is that. Well, how about if we do 7 times a, like we said? OK, well, 7 times a. a is 7, radical 6, and 2. It just means take 7 and multiply each of those components by 7. So we get 49. We get 7 radical 6. And we get 14. That's it. OK. So um, note, sometimes Notice we've been writing our vectors, um, our points in space, horizontally, listing the numbers horizontally, component-wise. Sometimes we're actually going to list them vertically. Uh, it's just a notational device. And uh, later on, if we start working with matrices uh, with multivariable calculus, you'll see why sometimes we write them vertically. But just know it's the same thing, whether we write them this way or this way. So sometimes we will write the vector a vertically. In other words, if I had the vector a, which is, let's say, a 4 vector, 1, 7, 4, 2, a point in 4 space, that is going to be equivalent to 1, 7, 4, 2. The only thing you have to watch out for is you want to retain the order. 1, 7, 4, 2 is a specific order. You don't just want to, you can't just write 1, 2, 7, 4. It's not just a, a it's not a set of numbers, it's a list of numbers in a specific order. So vertical, horizontal, it's just a question of you know what's convenient for us at the time. Okay, so two more properties.